Hey there. In this one, we're going to talk about fat arrow functions, also known as arrow functions, in a new sort of syntax that ES6 was released in JavaScript. But if you don't know what that means, that's okay. It's just a shortcut to do a lot of the things that we've already done. So if we see here this binding method, um, this method can completely be ignored using a fat arrow. Um, so I'm actually going to do it on a text title was clicked. So this one right here, and I'll let you do all the other ones. It's really simple. You just go down to your function. So we're going to go ahead and comment it out in the constructor. And we're going to go down to our function that we need to add a event onto, right? So right now the click event doesn't work. So if I save it, make sure that my project is running. I go back in here, click on this and go to my console log. I get these errors, right? So um, that's when you go ahead and bind it into the constructor that would change all that altogether. But to turn it into a fat arrow, all you do is say equals to the original, you know, past parameter, whatever parameter it is, you could have multiple parameters or no parameter. Um, in this case, of course, we're doing the event itself, and then fat arrow into the actual function. And that's it. So now that we've got that, we refresh in here and I click on my title and it's all good. So um, let me know if you have questions on this. Obviously this syntax is a lot cleaner, but what you're gonna see with so many tutorials is this other function, this other methodology. Um, and that's part of the reason why I wanted to show you that early on. And then we moved into the fat arrow method now, and this is what you'll see going forward. So keep that in mind and let me know if you have any questions. Um, thanks for checking this one out. I know it's really short. I'm traveling right now, so I just wanted to touch on this because I've been getting a lot of questions related to it. So make sure you subscribe to get everything, and we will see you next time.